continue to investigate a fatal crash in Charles County. It happened this morning in Nanjamoy, that's just outside of La Plata. A dump truck collided with a senior living facility bus, killing the three people, including the driver of the bus. A really tough story to bring you tonight. Matt Gregory explains where police believe the blame lies and more on what we know about these victims. So it's important to note that the investigation, even though it happened this morning, is still in the early stages. There's still more accident reconstruction to do, witness statements to take, as well as forensic evidence. But at this point, police say they do believe that the driver of the bus may have been the one at fault. And within the last few hours, police just now released more information on the three victims who died as a result of the deadly head-on collision. This was a look at the devastating scene earlier this morning. Police say just before 8 o'clock, a fully loaded dump truck headed down Port Tobacco Road, Route 6 here, going towards the intersection of Bowie Road, collided with a Sage Point Senior Living Facility bus. A head-on, devastating crash. Emergency crews got to the scene in seconds, but unfortunately, there was not much police say they could do for the people in the bus. Police say the 84-year-old driver, Charlie Parker of Mechanicsville, Maryland, was driving the senior living facility bus. His two passengers on the bus, police say are Darlene Burrell, 64, and Cassandra Brown, 61, both of Waldorf, Maryland. And unfortunately, police say all three died at the scene. The driver of the dump truck was not injured, and we tried to talk to him, but understandably, he didn't want to speak to us. Police say the driving conditions this morning were actually ideal. Roads had high visibility and they were dry, and there does not seem to be any indication that either driver was speeding. However, when talking with police about the initial stage of the investigation, they said it looks like at this point the driver may have been at fault and the weight of the dump truck may have played a devastating role. All I could tell you is that positionally, it seems that the senior living facility bus had crossed over the double yellow line. A witness uh, who saw the truck drive by who, who basically has informed us the only thing that she could was that the dump truck did not appear to be speeding or driving erratically in any way. Fortunately, in something like this, it's not so much speed as it is the weight. So the weight of the dump truck contributed heavily to the, uh, the, the stopping power, if you will. We went to the nearby Sage Point Assisted Living Facility afterwards. We asked them for more information on the victims as well as more information on the driver and the bus. And when we get a response, we'll bring it to you. In Charles County, Maryland, I'm Matt Gregory, WUSA 9.